Hi, this is Grandma in New York City, and uh, I was born here, and I'm one of four people, because uh, all the rest are foreigners, and that's what makes it such a great city. So, we're going to talk about bread today. I read in the Times, there's an article here, it says, uh, Needing away the anxieties of confinement. Now, I have a different take on this. I think people are just so scared that they're making bread. Because I once saw this, this movie about zombies. And these zombies ran out of bread and they started to eat people. It was very scary. So people have seen films like this. So my friend and I, we go out and uh, we try to get flour because we got to keep the bread in the house. So we go to the store, we put on our garden gloves and we got our mask and we're all set. We go six feet apart, the whole 10 yards, and we go to look for flour. Well, let me tell you, there's no toilet paper and there's no flour. I don't know who these jamokes are, but they came in and they just cleaned the place out. So now we have to go on a whole thing to find the flour. So we decide to go around the corner. There's a Japanese grocery. Great place, fabulous stuff. We buy this flour. Now, can't read a word in Japanese, but if you look closely, it tells you what it's used for. You can make sushi and tempura, and you can make cakes, right? Terrible for bread, not made for bread, but what do we know? And we didn't look, you know, there's a picture, it tells you. So anyway, I make the bread, I make a Corona donut, hard as a rock. No way you can eat this. You eat this, you break your teeth. And by accident, you drop it, it breaks your foot. So, no way. Can't eat it. All right, so what are you going to do with this? And we got 10 bags of this stuff, right? So we're going to make the tempura and we're going to make the cakes. But you can also make pandemic animals. Very exciting. So, let me show you. So we start with the rat. See that? Did a good job, right? Nice coloring. You can tell it's a rat. So... This rat, it's the, uh, it did not bring the coronavirus. It brought the plague a long time ago. Thank God we don't have the plague, and soon the coronavirus will go away. So what I like about this is that it's the year of the rat. So this poor animal can celebrate its birthday and not feel guilty. All right. so, so what brought this coronavirus? Well, they think it's the bat, but it can be the snake. And it can also be a, a, a pelican, a pentagon, a pound. I have to look and see how you say this. Um, where is it? Uh, a pangolin. It could be a pangolin. Yeah, not to be confused with the penguin, a pangolin. So anyway, now the bat, see how beautifully painted that is? I did a great job. This is, this is all the colors of the coronavirus. Right, it's very beautiful, horrible disease, but very beautiful to look at. Now, bats, bats are about death and new beginnings. So it's, it's you know, we're gonna get through this. And then the snake, if you look at the snake and you look at uh, the doctor symbols, there's always two snakes with wings. So you've got death and you've got healing and you have new beginnings. So it's all looking good. Okay, then the pangolin, the pangolin basically eats ants. I, I don't, there is a cult for the pangolin, believe it or not, uh, but um, you may want to look it up. Anyway, it has these weird scales on its body, and it's like a, I thought it's very scary, but kind of cute. And this was the pangolin. So, God knows how long we're going to be with this. You need something to do. So you start to make these things, and you can turn them into Christmas ornaments. Because hopefully by Christmas, uh, we can get, the, you know, the holidays going and we can hang these things around the house. So this is Grandma Rose sending you lots of love and keep yourself busy and out of trouble. Bye.